Gary Mawson, the first of our semi-finalists, taking out that big 81, and boy, oh boy, did he enjoy that. The American celebrates. Gary Mawson spent a bit of time living in Bolton in his, uh, his past as well. And he's uh, winning the hearts of these Bolton fans here at the Reebok Stadium. Confirmation of that 10-6 victory. Wayne Jones, good tournament he's had as well, beating Kirk Shepard, Barry Bates and John Pard. But Mawson proved a step too far. Up next, Vincent van der Boek, last year's finalist against Chris Thompson, the surprise package in this tournament. Round about three o'clock, we reckon, Barney against Taylor for the third time in three years. Barney never been beaten at the UK Open. And the final match of the afternoon session, James Wade against Alan Tavern. But Gary Mawson is, uh, is with me. Gary, congratulations. <laughs> what a performance. You look like I'm you enjoyed very, it. I'm very pleased. I mean, I had a little hiccup in the middle but I had enough of a lead that I could come back from it, and I'm, I'm just over the moon. That 103 opportunity spurred me on. Nice 11 darter in the end, just he, put it away. He started clawing back at you, you know, and, and you, you, I think you got back to 8-6, and the nerves were starting to, to, to kick in, were they? That's the problem, there was no nerve. I felt good, I just all of a sudden went bad, and I just wanted to get it over with. I had enough of a lead, I thought I'm okay, but then he started playing really great, and I'm like, I gotta really step it up. And I got enough of an edge, and I just just took advantage. You can see from the moment you, you walked down the, the walk-on area, you, you were out to have a good time and just enjoy yourself. Oh, this is Bolton. I love Bolton. Bolt Wanderers Football Club. <laughs> and uh, a few of you people refer to me as Rafa. Is yeah, that? Rafa Benitez, yeah, you, right. well, you have I, a bit of a resemblance. I'm, yeah. I'm going to coach Bull Waters Football Club next year, so you know. <laughs> um, as far as your background goes, you, you've got a bit of a, a, a sort of cultural mix because you, you lived in Bolton for a while. You, you spent time in Canada yes. in the States. Tell us about that. Well, uh, my dad's from Bolton, my mom's from Farmworth. Uh, moved over here when I was three, back home with everybody. Had a couple of years, went back to Canada, and uh, I tried to play darts over here in 89. Uh, darts was dying and went back to Canada. And now uh, I'm back in the States. Uh, my beautiful wife is from America, and uh, I'm going to play represent America in the future. Now, you nearly didn't make it here at all. Uh, tell us about that. <laughs> No, I had no. Uh, well, I lost my pass. I left my passport in, in the JFK airport, and I didn't realize that until I arrived in Manchester. But uh, I have a British passport, so the uh, British government kindly let me in. And you and, wiped uh, the sweat from yes, your brow. Yes, I did, and uh, and uh, everything's fine now. <laughs> now listen, semi-finals. Um, are you going to stick around this afternoon? How are you going to prepare for for this evening? Uh, I am going to prepare. I mean, this is a, a, one of the biggest matches of my career. I mean, it's, a, it's an opportunity to, to play in the UK Open final in Bolton, where all my family live. I, uh, you know, I just got to get, I got to get ready for it. And will you be watching Barney against Taylor? Because it, it could be one of those two in the semi. Who? Fair enough, that's the right <laughs> attitude, Rafa the gaffer, yeah. <laughs> Never met him. <laughs> no, no hey, hey, it's, a, it's, a, it's a draw that everybody wanted to see, and uh, it's just a little bit early on. But one of them's gone, one of them won't be uh, up for tonight, and it could be one of them I'm playing, so see what happens. Hey, listen, congratulations. You're winning a lot of fans over here. Thank well you. Done. Thank you really very much. Really good performance. Gary Mawson through to the semi-finals. Uh, Barney against Taylor, round about three o'clock. They've had a bit of previous here in Bolton. Taylor wants Thompson. Number one, Chrissy didn't go for the ball. Well, this is Taylor. It's Gamble. He's going to look a mug if he misses. He'd be very close for the match. This is where he went wrong before. Didn't use a live properly. It's awkward. A mile away, the tension showing. Two tens for the match. So, 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 so. This is the most important 97 of Barnevelt's career. He's got to get a treble. There's no way if he'd been on 95 or below, he could have used the ball. He's got to get a treble. He's got it. Tops two darts. He's on. Oh, Barnevelt has done it. Taylor missed. Barnevelt did it. What a match. Taylor the power, but uh, Barney in glory. He is, of course, the reigning champion. Oh, 180. 180. 
you can expect a bit more of that, folks. Oh, Barnabelt oh, steps up, wins oh, the no. bag against the darts. Barnabelt on 11 dart finish, 14 doubles, 16 then. But an 11 oh, dart oh, finish, Barnabelt is Steadies, aims, double eight, fraction in, half an inch, has to, yes, yes. middle of the pitch, and the power had a horrible day in the office. We reckon Barney Taylor, round about three o'clock this afternoon, one more match to get away before that one and it could be an absolute belter. I reckon